So I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video. I don't think I've ever done one of these on this channel. I don't know why, just because I absolutely love watching them. I already put primer, foundation, and eye primer on my face. As you can tell, I'm freshly showered, so I put my hair up in a clip and have it all poofed up so it can air dry with some lift at the top. The primer that I used on my face is a little sample. I'm trying out the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I'm on the hunt for a primer to control the oil on my T-zone. I used my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation on my face and I applied that with my Real Technique sponge. And then I primed my eyes using my Blurock Behind the Scenes Primer. It has seen better days because it is just about gone. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyes. I'm going to be using two of my Lorac palettes. I'm going to be using the Pro 2 and the Unzipped because I love these palettes so much. So anyway, how are you guys doing? How's, how's life? How's the baby? I have had a pretty quiet week. I just worked a lot. We've had a few birthdays though. It was my dog's birthday, Ralph, he turned four. And then the day after was our friend Peter's birthday and Peter actually passed away recently. I think I mentioned it in another video, but um, it was his birthday so we decided to do a memorial type thing where we went and did things that he used to like to do. So we um, we played bocce ball, we got pizza, and drank Dr. Pepper and ate cheesecake, and just kind of goofed around and played bocce ball at the park, and that's, you know, stuff he really likes to do, so it was nice to just kind of celebrate his life that way, and it was good. Um, I miss him. He's in a better place now, and, you know, we, we miss him all the time, and it just, if anything, it just taught me to, you know, really cling on to those that I care about. You know, because life is short, you never know what can happen to someone or when someone will be no longer in your life anymore so it just it makes me really really cling to and appreciate the people that I love in my life. I'm using the Maybelline color tattoo this is an inked in pink I love this one so much it's my favorite it's just a shimmery pink eyeshadow I think by itself it can look a little middle school I'm not gonna lie to you but it provides to be a great base for rose gold eyeshadow which is you guys know it's always been a thing for me, so. It's also my grandma's birthday today, so I think right when I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna give her a call. Tomorrow um, is me and my boyfriend's anniversary. We've been dating for a year, which is weird because it doesn't feel like it's been that long, but at the same time, like I don't really remember much before we dated. It just seems like a different life, if that makes sense. And I'm really excited. We're not gonna be able to spend it together though, which kind of stinks because he's got work and I would have work normally, but I actually have the day off tomorrow, so I have a lot of editing that I need to catch up on. We both just work a lot. I mean, that's just, it stinks, but you know, that's kind of how life is, and we're just, you know, trying to, you know, work hard, save money, do what we can. You know, my life isn't the most exciting, you will quickly learn, but I am very, very grateful for it, and I wouldn't trade it for anything, just because I think regardless of how broke I feel all the time, like, I'm... I'm very happy with where things are right now and I just have really high hopes for the future. I think there are great things in store for us and I'm just I'm just happy, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Brandon's actually really sick right now. He's got a really bad cough and it's it's kind of keeping both of us up at night, which kind of stinks. Especially because he's such a weird cougher. Like he's the type where if he's gonna cough right before he like kind of makes like a uh, kind of noise and it sounds like he's dying and it's it scared me a lot like the first like 10 times that it happened because I'm just immediately I wake up and I'm like are you okay what's wrong like thinking I need to like resuscitate him or something but it's really just him being weird and not coughing like a normal person but yeah he's really sick so I'm trying to do my best to take care of him um, I'm in charge of pretty much all the cooking at the moment so I'm trying to be better about making sure he's eating like on a regular basis even though he may not really feel like eating or feel like eating the greatest things. Um, making sure he's drinking a lot of water. Just, you know, Brandon's, Brandon's an adult and everything but he has a tendency to get distracted easily. So sometimes I kind of need to, you know, just kind of remind him of certain things but I don't really mind doing that. He's, he's the best so I'm happy to do that. For him. One thing you will learn about me and my boyfriend really quickly is that we don't really go out a whole lot uh, because we both work a lot and we usually work like opposite hours so we don't see each other very much so the time that we do see each other the other is probably exhausted. Uh, we watch Netflix and that's just kind of like our thing. We always go to QT and get like a drink or a snack and then 
watch Netflix and a lot of times Leo will come too. And um, we've been really loving Scandal lately. I'm trying to get Brandon into American Horror Story because it's amazing. Speaking of, if you know anywhere where we can watch Coven for free online, please let me know because we've been buying them on Amazon. We have a subscription for HBO Go, Netflix, and Hulu Plus, and none of them have it. And I think that's complete crap. So I don't know what we need to do or who we need to bake a cake for, but I just want to be able to watch it. This is going to be really tricky, but I'm using my Kat Von D liquid liner or ink liner, I guess I should say. So it's not going to be perfect and that's okay because we're really just going to stamp eyeshadow on top because I'm a lazy butt. I don't really feel like doing a winged eyeliner today, so I'm not going to do it. And now I'm just going to take the black color, tap it, and just stamp that on my lash line over that liner. It's like super lazy girl liner. It's majority of what I wear all the time. I have been really missing singing lately. If you don't know, I used to be in an acapella group called the ASU Pitchforks. I feature a lot of our music off of our EP in my videos, so I will link that below, but I really miss having that outlet too, and I, I don't know, I need to find like some kind of way to get back into that. You know, it's, it's hard to, you know, do that and find time when you work. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about getting back into uploading on my music channel. You probably won't know about this unless you are like a long time subscriber. I had a channel called Woe Like Ness and I would upload like music stuff. I don't know, I really miss it and I really do want to start uploading on that channel again. I'm gonna go ahead and do concealer. I'm doing my NARS Creamy Concealer. I have been brainstorming with some friends of mine and we might do a Nicki Minaj cover, which isn't what it sounds like, but that should be coming to that channel soon, so hopefully that's a thing, just because I miss singing so much and I know I have other friends that are no longer in Pitchforks that also really miss it. So I'm just going to blend this in. I'm using a Real Techniques, I think this is the base shadow brush. Uh, I feel I should mention I am attempting to get a job at Sephora right now. I work at JCPenney and we have a Sephora inside our JCPenney and I really want to switch. I've been called in there a couple days already. Not as many as I would like but I've been in there a few days and I really really like it and I've met so many awesome people in there and you know you're always really excited to go to Sephora because it's like you treat yourself and I don't know there's something very emotional about buying makeup especially if it's for the first time. So I love helping people do that. Um, I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I'm just gonna use this to set my under eye as well as to kind of highlight my cheeks. I'm really liberal with this, as you can tell. And I'm using an Eco Tools Blush Brush to apply it. Just kind of whatever about it. Yeah, I just want it to give me a glow, I guess. I really need a new eyelash curler too. Our Sephora just got the Shiseido one and I really want to buy it. So I think this paycheck, that's going to be like the beauty buy I allow myself. Now I'm going to go in with my NYC bronzer. This is in Sunny. I'm very careless with about how I apply my makeup usually. So I'm just going to put it like on the sides of my face just because I want it to bronze. Make me look a little less pale. Especially my neck. My neck is like freakishly white, but I feel like that's kind of how it is for everyone. We'll start here, kind of build it up and then make it, make its way down here. And then I'll take my Hoola bronzer. So this is a new baby, I love it so much. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques contour brush. I'm just gonna like run this into the natural like contours of my face. I'm kind of a chubbier girl, so I don't really have many of those, but we're just gonna kind of eyeball it and see what we can do. And I know it could make that fishy face, but I know where it goes, so. Not really too concerned about it. I'm just gonna go over with that brush, kind of smooth that out. For blush, I'm using my Tarte Exposed. So I'm just gonna pop that on. So I am new to the Dip Brow Pomade. I'm pretty certain I don't put it on the exact way that you're supposed to technically, but that's okay. It works for me. Also, can we all rejoice about how Gilmore Girls is now on Netflix? I basically peed when I heard that announcement. I was so excited. And I'm trying to get Brandon to watch it with me, but he's being a little resistant. I have a question. So do you guys ever watch Netflix regularly with people where if you were to watch a show without them, you basically have destroyed your entire friendship? That's kind of what's happening with my boyfriend right now. We're watching so many shows together 
if I'm home alone or something for a night and I'm waiting for him to come home and I want to watch Netflix and say I watch something without him, it's literally like we're legit fighting at that point. He's so mad. I think um, the most recent thing I did that with was Vampire Diaries, which to be fair, I watched that show like from episode one with him. So I get it. But it's just so hard because every time we watch a show, we want to watch it together. But, you know, we're a lot of times we're apart and I'm going to want to watch Netflix sometimes because what well, the thing with Netflix is it's not a commitment. Like you can turn it off anytime. It's great to burn time. It's great for multitasking, especially if you're editing like me. Like it's great to just kind of throw on a show and have, you know, background noise. I'm trying to like justify it to him, but it doesn't matter at this point. Like I've basically destroyed all trust. <laughs> because I watched an episode, okay, I watched like four or five episodes of Vampire Diaries, but you know what? That's life, you know? Sometimes, sometimes people are gonna watch Netflix without you and you just gotta move on, right? Oh, um, I did also wanna mention, I decided I wanna get back into working out and Brandon said he would go to the gym with me, but he doesn't wanna go to our gym because he wants to go late at night and our gym is closed. I don't want to have to pay for a gym membership, so I might end up just going without him. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to do the Jillian Michaels 30 Day Shred. There's like this little clump that's bothering me. I hate when that happens, when you get little bits, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry and then scratch it off. But um, I did the Jillian Michaels 30 Day Shred with Zayn MUA on YouTube, and we did a pretty good job at keeping up with it, considering I'm really infamous for not sticking to those types of things, but... I might give it a try again. It's just it's it gets really boring after a while, but it really is the appropriate like type of workout for me because it's fast, so I can't really make excuses that I don't have time for it, and it's just very effective. Like she uses that time very efficiently, and I am definitely like dying, like not dying, but I'm definitely sweating and like out of breath at the end of it. So I did it a couple times last week, and I was so incredibly sore I could barely walk. For her to do that in like half an hour workouts is impressive I think so I definitely do want to do that but I don't want it to turn into a thing where I'm weighing myself every day because I know I will absolutely hate myself if I look at numbers so I'm literally just going to take a picture at the beginning like take pictures throughout just so I know I don't think I would ever post them just because I'm I think I'm too shy for something like that are any of you guys doing like workout regimens I mean I don't know a whole lot about blog -alotties. what are some of your favorites like favorite workout videos or routines. I would love some inspiration and some ideas of something new to try. Because for me, it's just, it's so new to me and I don't know a lot about what's out there. So for me, it just gets really overwhelming. I just used um, the Lancome color design and love it, which is like a creamy pink lipstick. It's a little blue toned. So I'm gonna go in with Fig Jam Lip Butter by Revlon, kinda dull it out a little bit. Normally I would wear MAC Jubilee with this, but I can't find it. This video is probably going to be incredibly long. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please feel free to leave me a little random chit chat blurbs. Let me know how your day is going or if you have anything exciting planned this week. Regardless, I will see you guys again very soon and I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you later. Bye! I know a girl who's tough but sweet. She's so fine she can't be beat. She's got everything